Hey everybody, today is March 5th and it's a beautiful weather outside in Texas. So I decided to transplant most of my plants outside. I'll give you a list of what uh, I will be transplanting today. Hopefully it's not too early because normally I would transfer these outside around April or maybe a little bit later, like mid-April. But amazingly, the weather is just so nice and I checked the, la the next 10 days and it's also going to be in the upper 70s and the lowest is only going to be in the 50s. So it's, it's probably okay to transplant but uh, these are the soil I'm using. Um, these are $2.49 each and they're manuan compost. I will be using some of these um, smart pot. These were sent to me by Colin. Colin, if you're watching this, uh, thank you so much. I will be transplanting some of my plants into here today. And I will show you guys what it looks like. But uh, I'm very excited to use these. They come in different sizes. There's one gallon, two gallons, five gallons. All the way to the large, um, sort of like a raised bed garden type. So I will be putting some in here. And the rest will be going into those buckets like that. Here are the plants that I will be transplanting. I have my chocolate scotch bonnet, who, which I've been growing in this bucket, the Chick-fil-A cup, for a while. I mean, I keep having to cut it back, and I decided to go ahead and let it fruit. And if you can see those little stickers on there, those are what I've done. Um, I crossed these with a bunch of other stuff. So hopefully transplanting these would not put this, this guy into shock and I, I will get those <laughs> nice cross fruits. But look at the size of this guy on a, on a little cup. I mean he's, he's way outgrown this cup long ago. Okay. And I have some Jamaican scotch bonnet, sugar rush, chocolate bootla, uh, butch tea CPR, Jay's red ghost. I have some of my grafted. Uh, White Devil's Tail, then M.A. Wartex, Jay's Peach Ghost, Carolina Reaper, uh, Jamaican Red Scotch Bonnets, and Ahi Pineapple. So I'll, li I'll put a list uh, in the description so you see what all I have going on. And I even have my Crab Claw here which is, has been grown in this cup for a long time, way longer than it should beautiful succulent Thai plants. These are really delicious in salads. If you guys ever seen this before, it's already starting to flower. But anyway, uh, I will be transplanting this soon and then I will take you through the process. So uh, many people have also wondered how I take the plant out of the cup and uh, get the roots out without damaging it. So I will show you that shortly. Okay, here's how I'm gonna take these apart. This is my Jay's Red Ghost. I have two of those. And if you notice, the roots are all over the place. So what I'm gonna do, if you have scissors, it's, it's much better, but I forgot my scissors. So here's what I'm gonna do. Just cut these apart. Don't worry about damaging some of the roots. It's fine. Okay, so there, there it is. Then, then you just squeeze the bottle like this. And when it comes apart, then use your water hose. And then you can gently Take them apart. There you go. Now you have 
two plants ready to be transplanted. All right, the first item I'm going to transplant is my Jamaican Scotch bonnet. This is a plant I'm entering in the contest, so I need to make sure that he produces a lot. And uh, the pot I'm using is this giant 20 gallon pot here. I want to make sure he has lots of space to grow and produce a ton of fruit so I can win the contest. This is what I'm using. Here's a plant. I'm going to put some compost in here. And then I'm also going to mix in some perlite for drainage. And then, then I'll put that guy in. Okay, I'm going to show you how to take the styrofoam cups apart for transplanting. When you remove this, it's going to look like this. And what you can do is just use your finger and just tear off the bottom like this. Styrofoams are much easier than the red solo cup. So you can peel this off. And then you can th throw the little pieces of the styrofoam back into your soil. Because it's, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to... Uh, it's like perlite. Okay. Now you just squeeze the container. And then gently pull it out. And there you go. And then when I transplant, I like to loosen up the roots because it allows the roots to move around in the larger container. So use your water hose. Here we go. And just wash off the plant a little bit. Okay, there you go. And now you can transplant that into any container and make sure you allow enough room for the roots to not be like this. You know, you want it like that uh, as you plant so that it can spread out and grow faster. Okay, here we are. We're ready to transplant the plant into any bucket or container you have. Dig a hole as far as you like and then keep your plant suspended like this while you fill the, the soil. And if, and if you need more soil, you can fill it. But this is all I'll have. All right. And then make sure you rinse the plant off and then put it in a place where it needs to go. That's how you transplant your plant. And this is my Jamaican Scotch Bonnet Yellow that I will be entering in the contest. Make sure to label now. <laughs> I always forget and I don't trust myself to remember because then at the end of the season I don't know which is which. Alright, it's been a, about four hours now and I'm still out here trying to get all these transplanted. I got a bunch left but let me show you what I've done already. And here is my chocolate Scotch Bonnet with all the nice looking pods and flowers and butch tea, butch tea CPR oh man I forgot to label this forgot what that is I think it's the uh, the CPR I have to check and MA Vortex these two chocolate bootla Jay's Red Ghost Jay's Red Ghost and then I have a few more. There's the BTR. I had I ran out of room, so I just added it with the uh, Pekin, which is the overwinter plant. And then there's my champion right there, Jamaican Scotch Bonnet Yellow. So I will go ahead and continue the rest. All right, everything is transplanted, and here they are. So what's, that's where the plants are going to stay and I will try to do updates every two weeks and let you guys see how well these guys would do. Hopefully the weather would be great and uh, we won't get any crazy uh, snow or anything like that late March. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and uh, make sure to check the description because I will put some information there so you can check out some other stuff as well. Thanks for watching.